Thanks for having me over. I wish Catherine was here, though. Yeah, me too. But she said she had an important ELA project to work on. Huh. Also, sorry my brother can be a bit loud sometimes. Uh, Keon, tone it down! Ariana, that wasn't me. <laughs> that was close. Where am I? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Was that your mom? It doesn't sound like her. Mom? Kian, this better not be a prank or something. Who are you? Who are you and how did you get in my house? This is your house? Oh, excuse me. Well, that doesn't even explain anything. I'm, my name is Mary Bradbury. Who are you? I'm Geraldine, and that's Ariana. What is happening? Why are you dressed like that? I'm from Salem, and I was just about to ask you the same thing. This is 2018. This is pretty much what people wear. It's 2018? It's not 2018. It's 1692. Uh oh. Time machine? Time machine. Wait, the thing I don't get is that the last time we used a time machine, we brought it back here. So how did you get a hold of it? What's a time machine? I may or may not have pressed a button that sent it back to Salem. May or may not. Okay. So that's the contraption that brought me to wherever this is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Speaking of which, I need your girl's help. With what? There's something terrible going on in my hometown of Salem. What's going on? Well, really, it all started with two young girls. The daughter and niece of the minister of Salem Village. Go on. As the doctors and everyone else had been saying, the girls had undergone a series of fits, contortions, and outbursts of screaming. Hmm. Didn't we learn about this in history? I have no idea. Then they went to a local doctor, and his diagnosis has, was that the girls had been bewitched. Huh. Now I remember reading about this. I read a book on the Salem Witch Trials, re which all that information was just what you just said. The Salem Witch Trials? I suppose you could call them that. Oh, now I remember. Someone else told me about them. Didn't other girls start having the same symptoms? Some of the girls I knew. I honestly didn't think it was witchcraft, but a whole village seemed to think so. Hmm. Everyone had gone t into a state of fear and panic and hysteria. Why? People, mainly Christians, thought that witchcraft was the magic of the devil. To them, it was supernatural, and a way for the devil to give humans, witches, the power to harm others in return for loyalty. That's creepy. Yes. As Geraldine mentioned, people thought this was the devil's magic, so they were obviously scared. But there was other factors that led up to the witch trials, like there was a recent smallpox epidemic that had gone around and a long-stand rivalry between them and one of the more affluent communities in Salem Town, which is now present-day Salem. As I had said earlier, the daughter and niece of the minister named Elizabeth Paris and Abigail Williams had been bewitched. They accused a local slave named Tichuba and two other women, one a homeless beggar, and the other poor and elderly of bewitching them. Hmm. Of course, that made the hysteria spread like wildfire. Then the trials began, right? The Didn't they arrest the three women accused of witchcraft? Yes, two men named Jonathan Corwin and John Hawthorne, the town's magistrates, were in charge of questioning the three women. I recall the two women. I believe their names were Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne. They were questioned, but they didn't confess to bewitching the girls. While the slave Tichuba, in believing that she could get out of being convicted by acting as an informer, decided to name the accusers as that helped her bewitching the girls. Hmm. Correct. This is where the story leads me to where I am now. All the people that Tichuba accused followed in her footsteps and accused others. Pretty soon, the trials were overwhelmed. Our governor decided to order the establishment of the special court of Oyer, the one who would hear out the cases, and the terminator, the one who would decide. This, this decision really helped hunt down the people who were accused of being witches. Hmm. John Hawthorne, one of the town's magistrates, 
Samuel Sewall and William Stott Hutton, the Chief Justice, were the judges for the first conviction, where they sentenced Bridget Bishop to death on June 2nd. She was hanged eight days later. Hey, I remember an article on the trials. It also said that Br Bridget Bishop was hang hung on June 10th, and five more witches were hung that July. Five more after that, eight in September, and seven other accused witches died in jail. One of the accused witches, Martha Corey's husband, was pressed to death by stones after he refused to enter a plea at his arraignment. Wow, that's pretty dark. Mary Bradbury, were you accused of being a witch? Unfortunately, yes. That's why I ran. Who were you running from? Many people. Everyone in our town wanted to exterminate the witches because they thought they were going to use the devil's practice on them. It got really out of hand when everyone started accusing each other of being witches. Really, anyone who hated another person could accuse them of being a witch, and that person would be hunted down and put on trial. Do you know who accused you? No. Many were accused by our own town's residents because they were suspicious of one another, or they just hated each other. Residents also accused outsiders for fear of attacks on them. And now you want our help for what? I was hoping I could find someone to help and what and the witch trials and talk some reason into everyone. And you expect us to teenage girls to end the Salem witch trials? Yes. <sighs> oh, this is not good. This is really, really not good. Mary, could you excuse us for a moment? Do we really want to do this? Well, it seems like she needs our help. Well, I mean, we don't even know if she's telling the truth. I mean, yeah, she looks like she's from the 1600s, and she doesn't seem to recognize anything from 2018, but anyone can fake that. Well, she appeared in your house out of nowhere. Valid point. <sighs> so we're really going to do this? So try not to die. Yeah. Will it help me? Me, of course. <sighs> to the time machine. Does this always have to do this? The magic effect of the time machine. Oh, so soft. Here we are, Salem. Wow. Hey, Mary, I forgot to ask. If you're from Salem, then how do you speak English? I was taught by my parents, like many of the other children. Ariana, I don't think there's going to be Wi-Fi here. Geraldine, it's the 1600s. Of course there's no Wi-Fi. What? Wi-Fi? That's a separate topic. Anyways, how are we planning on stopping the Salem Witch Child again? We could ask, maybe? Oh, yes, because I'm sure that two 13-year-old girls will stop the Salem Witch Trials by saying please. It's a thought. There's someone coming. Hi. Is there, is there a problem? I thought I saw some Holly Jen children running about. Any idea where they went? No, but I'll let you know if we do. I hope so, because they're not supposed to be wearing trousers. These are not trousers. These are designer jeans from American Eagle. The best clothing company that ever gosh, that's her. It says that Mary Bradbury was accused of being a witch. People reported that she assumed animal forms. She supposedly turned into a blue bower. 
Some also speculated that she cast spells on ships. She was imprisoned, and although over 100 people testified on her behalf, the court sentenced her to be executed. After the ongoing efforts of her friend and family, her execution was delayed. After the witch trials were over, she was released from prison. Other people say that she was allowed to escape, or that she bribed one of the prison guards. Anyway, she returned home to Massachusetts. Lived until she was 85. I'm so happy for her, especially since it seemed like she did nothing wrong. Why were so many people accused anyway? I think that people were scared that the devil was making these women do, like, unexplainable things, so they just blamed it on her. It's sad. It says that 19 innocent women were hanged, and a 70-year-old man was killed, and over 200 people were accused of practicing witchcraft. Hey, look, it says that there's an activist named Increase Mother and his son Cotton Mother. They're both Puritan ministers, and they both spoke out against the trials. One well-known saying of Increase Mother that he tried to use to persuade people that the trials weren't lawful was, it were better that ten suspected witches should escape than one innocent person be condemned. I agree. The witches of Salem were discriminated for something that wasn't even true, and had to experience genocide and hatred from the people they thought of as a friend. People turned against them, and they were feared because of being accused of witchcraft. Something that wasn't proven, and was unjust and illogical. Plus, even after the trials were finally deemed unlawful, the impact that it had on the community was still thereafter. It says here that the families of the accused were split apart, making it harder on them, and if they had a family member who was accused and killed for it, they wouldn't receive any kind of closure or help. There's also the fact that people incriminated had to live in very hard conditions. Wow. Apparently, the Salem witch trials led to the creation of museums and memorial parks, like the one located in Salem today. Some of the descendants of the accused witches formed groups like the Bloodlines of Salem, T-A-D-E-A-W, or the Association for Daughters of Early American Witches. Well, we didn't necessarily stop the Salem witch trials, but we did gather some pretty neat information for any future projects. Yeah. Oh man, I still have to do that ELA project with Ariana. <gasps> yes! Geraldine, it is 11.30 at night. I'm trying to sleep. What? But I have an idea for our ELA project. Okay. You go to bed early, by the way. I was just thinking, we could do the Salem Witch Trials for our ELA project. Beats. Bears. Beats. Battlestar Galactica! Fact. Bears eat. <laughs>